Hello, today we're here in the Butterfly House at the Norfolk Botanical Garden. And our summer exhibit this year is Mission Monarch Project Milkweed. Our goal is to try to educate the public about the plight of the monarch butterfly and what they can do with their own garden to help out. Part of that project, we've installed a new demonstration garden right in front. I'd like to come show it to you. Here to talk to us about today is Linda Saunders, one of our senior gardeners and the designer of this garden. Linda, what did you have in mind when you put this garden together? What we were thinking is we wanted to make a garden that a homeowner could do in their yard and their properties of different sizes because mm -hmm. the butterfly garden is so enormous. I didn't want it to be daunting to someone with a regular piece of property. Right. So that's what we've done here. We provided nectar plants. We've pro provided host plants for all the different local v butterflies. So not just the monarchs? No. We've kind of tailored it towards the monarch so far as our host plants are concerned, but we'll be adding different plants as we go along. Good. I, I noticed a few uh, different species in here this morning too, so that was kind of nice. Yeah. Um, why don't you show us some of the plants that you've selected? Walk and show. Okay. <laughs> got over here, we've got the typical lantana, which is everywhere and all different types of varieties and all different sizes and it is a no-brainer so far as host uh, nectar plants. Lantanas and zinnias which is the bright orange these are annuals but they're always available to the homeowners in very different varieties of colors. A size of a butterfly bush which is we call it a dwarf and it's very small because the regular butterflies get to be six eight feet and more which a lot of people can't handle on their property so we've included a dwarf variety of bud butterfly bush and then some milkweeds we've got some perennial milkweeds which is Asclepius tuberosa and then we have an annual milkweed well, one of the things I like about this garden is that you didn't pick anything that would be too difficult for the average homeowner to find at area garden centers no no I think you can find all of this easily we've got some cone flower which is easy enough to find and it's their favorites they like plants that are common and more native to our area so Linda if someone wanted to have their own butterfly garden what's a good place for them to start in the Sun they need they need as much Sun as possible butterflies need heat to be able to fly and to get their wings going um, the plants that are the best butterfly plants need the sun also so like your zinnias and your lantanas they love the full sun um, you're going to want to not use chemicals as much as possible things that kill other bugs are going to kill butterflies so they they are not our friends um, and good air circulation you okay. need good air circulation do you think um, do we have a plant list that they could oh yes we do we've, we've provided a plant list of a lot of the plants that's in this garden and some that are actually in the butterfly house itself and we're keeping them available in our mailbox and anytime you come to visit please feel free to pull a list out and that'll give you a good start and we also have some information about different types of milkweeds that we've got in the garden this year so Linda what's going to happen to this garden at the end of the season at the time that the flowers get tired of blooming <laughs> the butterflies are dwindling down for the season and they'll just they'll just fade away we'll pull the annuals we'll leave the perennials and next year we're planning on filling it up with more perennials, there'll still be some annuals like the zinnias and the lantanas that you need to do. But we're going to try to gear more towards perennials so we don't have as big of a change out every year and make sure they cover the seasons of the butterflies. But it will still be designed for uh, bu oh, yes. butterflies? Oh yes, this is part of the butterfly garden now, it's a new bed but it's it, the house isn't going anywhere and this garden leads up to the house beautifully great. so yes it'll be for butterflies. Well thank you Linda, this looks great. You're welcome. I hope all of you will have a chance to come visit this new garden, visit the Butterfly House, and enjoy Mission Monarch Project Milkweed. It runs through September 21st of this year. I'm Les Parks. And Linda Saunders. And we hope to see you in the garden soon.